welcome to the Mind Body Soul Experience. My name is Carrie Kirkpatrick and I'm here on the Oracle Television stand, stand 24. It's a really busy day today and we're finding time to interview some of the key exhibitors and speakers at this year's event. Right now I'm here with Paul Quinton from Universal Healing. Hi Paul. Hello, how are you? Well, thank, I'm great. How, you know, it's been wonderful to get a chance to talk to you because I know you've been so busy from the minute the doors opened this morning. It's been crazy this morning, yes. Very. Now, can you tell me a little bit about what you're actually doing on your, st on your stand today? Well, today, um, well, my business is Universal Healing. Um, I'm actually uh, advertising a lot of my uh, home courses I've written, Heal Your Life. Right. Uh, there's an introductory uh, five-day meditation um, and people will receive uh, meditations mp3s each day yeah. and it's basically an introduction into the inner workings of the soul so I'm trying to oh. teach uh, the old language of the soul uh, metaphor archetype and symbolism oh, that's uh, lovely. how did this old language of the soul come to you how did you discover just it? through my meditation and working with spirit through my work yeah so, so it's uh, yeah. it's quite amazing you know um, basically uh, I think the archaeologists have been looking for this language for, for hundreds of years and there was always a one language we always used to speak, but it was never spoken. It was the inner archetypal work, and it's a lot of what our tribal elders and people still use today. Like the Aboriginals only have a few spoken words. Do they really? Yeah, so it's all about connecting to the inner world, and once you connect to that soul level, then it takes all the fear and doubt out of life. And how wonderful that you're able to use our, our modern age of communication yes. to communicate this essential source of, of language uh, exactly exactly and i really want to bridge modern with with the alternative you know integrative medicine yeah. and that's my new clinic will will be opening up will be around integrative do you medicine. find that nowadays more and more people are searching for this something other that's going back into our ancient past very much so very much so and it's a calling from the inside we can't externalize anymore it's you know it's not it's not external it's not material it's about the inner world of, of nourishment of self and soul and we it doesn't matter what you believe who you, who you follow there's a universal law that yeah. dictates that and it's and yeah. i think that's why people are, are very lost and confused and it's definitely what's causing a lot of illness and disease and disorder at the moment yeah. because the emotional body just can't function now you're very busy as a healer aren't you mm. You're just opening a practice in central London. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I mean, you're going right into the heart of right the into metropolis, the heart. aren't you? Yes, yes. And I heard the other day that it's Florence Nightingale's old building. So I thought that's oh, a good omen. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. so number one to seven Harley Street. Um, yeah, so the idea is to bring, again, like I said, bridge the modern with the, with the old uh, integrative medicine. So I'm going to be working a lot with doctors. I've got a lot of different um, modern, say, technology, but I'm going to be also using it with, yeah. with the old work that I do as well. So, what, what kind of um, therapies do you offer there? I mean, what, what if somebody rings up and just says, look, you know, I need some help with my bad back. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, I get a bit of a sore back sometimes. What would you recommend for me? Okay, so I'd obviously take a case history like anyone else. Um, I'd, I'd work, you know, look at basically is it is it is it physical? Is it is it trauma? Is it emotional? And, and try and identify the root cause. Always look for the root cause. Um, so the clinic, I have a hyperbaric chamber. I'm using Bicom. What's a hyperbaric uh, chamber? Hyperbaric chamber. <laughs> you have to tell the viewers a hyperbaric chamber. I, thought, I swear, I was sounding like sort of Stargate now. <laughs> it, is. it is. If you see it, it's like a space. It's one of those spaces space, things, yeah. It's, it's like something out of space, Star Trek. So if I go in this, am I going like, to come out looking 20 years younger? Well, yes. It, it works very much on anti aging <laughs> you heard as well. It here first. <laughs> it's a superficial effect as well, but yeah. uh, you know, topical, should I say? Yeah. Um, but no, it's uh, it's widely used in America now. Um, it's basically odd oxygen therapy so it fuses oxygen into the cells to trauma sites it helps with brain mitochondria in the cells so it's very good for like uh, neurological diseases mental illness like I said cerebral palsy autism post injuries anyone has had accidents um, so it's, it's amazing um, and, and can you can you uh, do you find that it has an effect on something like a condition that somebody's had for a long time very much so very much so very much so basically I just specify so if you've got a trauma site for example a physical trauma site um, basically the blood and energy flow can't get into that area yeah. so what this does is it opens up the capillaries the blood vessels and it just floods oxygen into those trauma sites and it's very good for cancer because cancer uh, thrives on low oxygen areas so what it actually does is it infuses oxygen into oh. those cells so it actually kills off the cancer yeah. cell so I suppose you're not able to say it cures cancer. No, you can't say it cures. No. It's very difficult to sort of quantify <laughs> yes, that. Yeah, exactly. But you have noticed what some, some really significant results? Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and the doctor, the Dr. Rashazi that works with it, um, he's done extensive yeah. research on it. And it definitely, definitely helps. Yeah, uh, and it, it also backs up the radiotherapy. 
um, and helps the side effects of radiotherapy. And do you feel that it's important to work with an individual um, who, for example, is going through a disease or an illness like that? Do you think you have to kind of really work with them on a psychological and emotional level at the totally, same time? Totally. The problem is, especially with new age stuff, is that you know we all go, oh, I need to go and do that. It's like new way of life. Oh, spirit, let's go, let's go, let's go. And you forget about your emotional, mental, and your and your physical health. You have to balance all four. Yeah. at the one time so it is very very much about integrating the full yes. body system and I think we forget that. Do you find that sometimes people are starting to use you like a bit of a counsellor as well? Well yeah I do I do a bit of coaching and uh, yeah. life directional work I, I like to call yeah. it. So it, 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 it seems to me that that seems to be a very relevant part of being a healer today when you're helping so. people to heal their lives mm -hmm. you can't you know, as you said just treat the body yes. um, yeah. out of the spirit you have to kind of be on board so did you did you go and do special training to be a coach or, or a, did, it, did you find it was just evolving over years? What, what did you do to help back that side up? Yes, well, I've, uh, in my early 20s, I did a lot of uh, channeling and spiritual work. So I grew up in a, in a psychic spiritual family. Well, that's very so, lucky, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was, well, Tuesdays when everyone was watching EastEnders, I was doing seances and uh, working oh. with spirits. <laughs> <laughs> so it was very interesting growing well, up. Well, EastEnders can be a bit, like, edgy. Ooh. <laughs> That was my Tuesday night, so anyway. Yeah. But uh, no, and I think it's just, it's just natural. It comes from very much from the soul level. You know, yeah. I believe we've, you know, we, we sign song contracts before we come and we fulfill those contracts. But I've done theta healing. I'm a cranial sacral therapist, emic technique therapist. I do massage as well. I also do life directional readings. Yeah. So clairvoyancy as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Gosh, I think I want to come and have a treatment myself, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Setting up a stand in the studio is a little bit taxing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, the, the door's open, you're a bit like... <laughs> Very much so. We've made it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I remember yeah. last year it was so ungrounding. You have to yeah. <laughs> really yes, you know, yes, stable yeah, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what have you got coming up then? I mean, obviously, we're just approaching Halloween. It's very busy in the next few weeks for you, isn't mm. it? What's going on? Well, it's setting up the clinic now. I hope to open um, sort of late uh, November. That's the Harley Street Clinic. Um, my own personal work that I'm doing at the moment, I've just finished a, a, a home course. So I've designed a course where people, it's very subjective, and people can work through the course at their own pace, yeah. meaning if they're holding on to a lot of trauma, they don't really want to go and speak to someone about it. It's just a nice way to introduce them that's a very themselves. relevant point actually because mm. you know healing and transforming you know you start on a journey but there is no set period of time or pace exactly. that you should be doing it no. and I think sometimes people can make a mistake of trying to push mm. you yes come on you must do this you must get rid of this yeah. relationship you must do that mm. and in fact it might be that you've got to be on the right track but let the flow unfold in the right way yeah it? and it's it's about resonance it, it, it needs to resonate with you you can yeah. hear a hundred things as long as if it doesn't resonate it might be true but if it doesn't yeah. resonate with you at that point in time then you you know you are going to reject yes, it on some yes, level yes. yeah and so when you're here with thousands of people mm. in this this massive crazy wonderful <laughs> exhibition yes. here how do you find it working in those circumstances? I mean, obviously, you, are you just going short taster sessions, or what do people have here? Yeah, short taster sessions, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's because it's so noisy. Some people don't want to open up anyway. I think it's just a it's a nice way just to give people a little bit of information. Yeah. And if they want to come and see me afterwards, they can. I mean, I'm in central London, so yeah. quite close for everyone. So could you just tell us your website address so people want to find out when the grand opening is? <laughs> yes, it's uh, www.universal-healing. Dot co dot uk. Uh, my phone number is 07804 And you're opening which date? Uh, late November, not a fixed date yet, okay. but I will put it on my website and there will be an official new website for the clinic as well. So. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for thank taking you. some time out of your busy schedule. Wonderful. Believe you me, I'll be trying to book in myself, <laughs> I think, this, during this weekend if we get a moment. But we shall see you soon and we look forward to getting some updates from you. Thank, thank you, you very much. much Wonderful. Paul. Thank you.